right, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Here's my morning. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, everybody else's night, but my morning as the sun goes down. I'm starting to feel like a vampire. Holy crap. So, anyhow, I don't got time to enjoy this. We got to make lunch for work, and I got to do a sponge bath. So, goodbye. All right, my friends, we're preparing for work. So, back to Monday, happy Monday. I did myself a bird bath. However, my hair is still a little crazy, and I'm using you guys and my camera as a mirror. Uh, maybe a brush is in order. Anyhow, so I just watched Nomadic Bandman's video there, and uh, his last one, maybe I'll link it, and his, or I'll link his channel. But you know what, uh, he called me out. He said that I probably have coronavirus. He says it's a mutated form of COVID LOC. And you know what? That is quite possible. Um, like I said, my throat has been sore and my neck has been sore and my upper shoulders. But uh, I can breathe okay and chest is okay. Everything else is okay. So anyways, we'll go to work and see how my day progresses. There's a folk in there. I don't see them too often here. I think he's looking for big fat mice. I hope this picks up close enough, but yeah, you don't see too many falcons here. I've seen a lot of eagles, but not many falcons, so that's kind of cool in my day travels today. I thought it was actually fake because sometimes they put fake uh, owls and fake eagles on the roofs of buildings to keep the crows and pigeons away. But then I seen his head turn out of the corner of my eye. See, a lot of people miss things like this. Walking around on our day-to-day -day life adventures, we just totally ignore this. Oh, he sees something too. He's uh, moving around. But yeah, look at all the holes on the ground here. So I'm sure he's got his uh, Vulcan eyes on it. And here's a tidbit of information. My last name starts with uh, Falcon. That's the meaning of my name, Falcon. So. Okay, yeah, as uh, usual, I get sidetracked easily. And I did have a theme for this little video clip. Um, I came to get chicken. I had such a good time choking my chicken the other day. <laughs> I had to buy more chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm bad. Anyhow, um, today is the last day. It's uh, noisy here. I gotta wait for vehicles to go by. Anyhow, today is Tuesday, March 31st. Guess what? Today I completed four years living out of a van. Okay, too noisy. Okay, instead of yapping and doing a lot of blah, blah, blah there, Chuck, you better get your ass in gear and get back to the van because it's about to freaking pour out. Okay, uh, my friends, I don't know what's going on. I'm not feeling so well today. I got a sore throat, I'm coughing, I got a fever. Uh, I don't know. I'm coming down with a bug or something, a flu? Uh, maybe I'm catching, yeah, maybe I'm getting coronavirus. That's what it could be, and I'm very scared. Holy shit, I feel like death. Ugh. Well, my friends, today officially marks the fourth, The end of the fourth year of me living out of a van. Uh, amazing, amazing. I'm totally surprised that I made it four years. Um, is it what I expected? 
yes and no, I guess. Maybe it's a little bit more than I expected. The adventures that I've been through and had the past four years have been utterly amazing. They've been awesome beyond what I expected. Um, no regrets. No regrets at all doing this. So who in the hell knows what the next adventure is going to be? And just like everybody else, it's an adventure towards happiness. So tomorrow, being April the 1st, I start my fifth year of being in a van. And who the hell knows what's going to happen? Especially with all this coronavirus crap going around. Oh, my chauffeur is here. See? I was waiting for my chauffeur. Man, this guy's got good timing. Look at that. I still had more to talk to you about, but hey, we'll come back. So, you know, first and foremost, I think I've got to say thank you to all you guys for watching me and following me and coming on my adventures for the past four years and all the comments and subscribing and liking on my video. I really appreciate that. Um, this journey wouldn't have been the same without you guys and YouTube. It has made quite a difference in my travels this past four awesome years of living out of a van. Um, we're at difficult times, we all know that. Uh, Corona, Molson Canadian virus, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> I call it. It's going to take us to who knows where. There's talk of it continuing uh, quarantining and self-isolating here in Vancouver in Canada. Probably till at least May now is the little bit of a rumor. One of the health ministers or something in British Columbia mentioned expect this to go on for a month or two. So that could present its own challenges. So uh, year number five is going to be pretty interesting and who knows how much longer it's going to last. So thank you guys for being you guys and yeah, commenting away. Even if they're bad comments, I don't mind it. We'll take it. And just like that, there's another sign for us. See, amazing takes time. It's been four years, but you know what? Continuing the amazingness and awesomeness, it might take us another four years or more who knows uh hey what happened where am i where'd i go why is this white light here around me wait where am i what the hell is going on here i think this uh there's a bright light a lot of bright light it's it's like a big tunnel of light. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, is this the stairway to heaven? Or to hell? Is this hell? No, 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 it's not a stairway. It's a white light tunnel. That damn corona. I, uh, I th I'm scared. I think maybe that I died and I'm going to heaven or hell. Damn you, coronavirus. How the hell could you send me through this white light tunnel to heaven? I'm not ready to die yet. Oh my god, I think the coronavirus killed me. And I'm in freaking a white light hell tunnel. <laughs> Lord help me. Uh, Chuck, Chuck, what happened to you? Oh my god, you have left your body. Oh, poor guy. Oh my god. You know what? Fan life will never be the same without you. YouTube will never be the same without you. Oh, what is everybody going to do? What are your subscribers going to do? Oh my god. Rest in peace, my little buddy. Rest in coronavirus peace.